Welcome. Come on into our kitchen. Look at that apron. I'm ready for fall. Like it. And today's recipe is going to be a really fall recipe. Well, I've heard. It's going to be ooey gooey pumpkin bars. Ooey gooey pumpkin bars. So you probably know who made them famous. And we're going to try to replicate the recipe today. Okay. And let me introduce myself in case you're new to our channel. I'm Sherry. And then behind the camera is my husband, Jason. Hello. Hi. So for this recipe, it does look like it needs a lot of ingredients. It does. You'll need a box of the yellow cake mix mm -hmm. for the ooey gooey pumpkin ones. Um, you'll need a can of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You're going to need a total of four eggs. Holy cow. Yeah. Two sticks of butter. Holy One moly. of them softens. Or they're both softened, but one already melted. Um, softened cream cheese, an eight ounce package. Mm -hmm. Vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Jeez. Did I say powdered sugar? I uh, don't think so. And powdered sugar. Lord. And this is all going to go into a 13 by 9 dish. So. For the bottom layer, mm -hmm. you're going to mix the cake mix. Can we be opening the cream cheese for you? You can. I don't need that like this. The, this is going to be your cake mix uh -huh. and your butter. That is a wild amount of ingredients. Yeah. Luckily, I pretty much had everything except for the cream cheese and the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the pumpkin only costs like a dollar or something. Right. Like dollar nineteen. Cream 12, cheese still really it. expensive around here? Yeah. And close to the holidays, it's harder to find. Right. So we did that, and I used butter golden. You can use whatever. Okay. Do you need a box? No. So now we're going to use the stick of butter. Okay. That's, that's already melted. melted, okay. And this. This cat has oh. meowed for two days. Hop She's out been of here, here for Jimmy. two years and never meowed. She's talking so much today. To, for two days. Oh, click on that. She is just really talking. So I'm assuming you're just mixing this together. Oh, an egg. My bad. You want the yuckiness? Hee <laughs> hee. Get me a towel. You need a towel? I'll get a second. Okay. Okay, so you're just gonna mix this stuff together, and I may have needed to use my hand mixer a bit. You think so? Yeah, I forgot I'll need it for the rest. Uh, hold on a second, let me get my hand mixer. Okay, be right back. Are we back? We are back. How many times did we have to tell the cat to quit talking? Uh, we told her to just be quiet while we we're filming. She said she wants to be in the film. So I'm a teenager. You don't tell me what to do. So for the first, well, all of this recipe, you're going to need a hand mixer or some type of mixer. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That does mix it a lot better than that spatula yeah. did. Now, it seems like the way this is made, it kind of reminds me of when I make those lemon bars, the chest bars. Yeah. You build it as two different layers and it, it bakes. Yeah. Uh, kind of like two layers. That's not going to work like that. That is going to drive me insane now to get all this out. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. That's good. Do, 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 do. Did you need me to turn the... Oh, you already, already got did. the oven on. So you'll preheat your oven to 350. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we'll need these again. Yes. You'll put this into a grease 13 by 9. You'll need your spatula, won't you? Yes. I think I'll need a bigger bowl for this next part. How much... Uh, a cup of powdered sugar or? Uh, I'll have to look at that. I know it's more than, or less than what I have out here. Huh. You might fit in that bowl. How about put all this stuff and mix it? Okay. Just 
drive me insane. Oh. I can't get it all out. Oh. That must be why those people got rid of that bowl. <laughs> they yes. didn't like making stuff in it's there. It's in the wedges. Okay, so then you smear this out. Man, that is a thick mixture. Uh oh, Sherry's pulling in the extra tools. Yeah, this is gonna make sure my hands are clean. It's a good thing that the butter was soft. That butter was soft. Yeah, well, it was melted, wasn't it? Oh, that's right. The other recipes. This is supposed to spread out, make a thin layer for your bottom. And Sherry's hands are clean. Thick batter, but the softness or the warmness, I guess, of your hands makes it spread a little easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, sometimes on this stuff, you just have to use your hands, really. Yeah, I'm trying to get it all even. Yeah, it looks pretty even from up here. You yeah, sign your name into that Picasso. <laughs> oh, it's driving me insane that it may not be level. It's it's level looking. Okay, so we got that going. It doesn't really say if it's like supposed to go up on the edges or anything. I would say keep it flat. Does that look good to you? Yeah, I think so. Picasso. Okay, we'll set that inside. Now. Oven's preheated. Hey Sherry. Hey. The oven's preheated. Well, we're not ready. Say it again. This is a stressful recipe. It is. <laughs> As I say that, y'all are like, nope, not making it. But I imagine it has to be delicious. Yeah. All right. Fine. So we've got to. You can mix in that. I'm going to try. Okay. What do you think? Because it's got this, the cream cheese, the butter, three eggs, and, the, and 16 ounces of. That's two cups. We'll see. I think it's fine. Without putting powdered sugar all over me. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as you think. All right, people. What do you think in the audience? <laughs> I don't think it'll be that bad. We'll find it's out. Set me up for disaster. Sherry will definitely tell us. All right. So you needed your pumpkin. 15 yeah. ounce nailed it. <laughs> is that the standard? You would think it would be. I guess so. Well, they do make a large can, so this is your smaller can. I'll take a can when you're done. I dropped it off the pumpkin. You're going to have to hurry. I'm sorry, people. Let's see. There's, there's, some, pu there's some pumpkin. You're stressing me. Pumpkin in there. Alright, so we got to do that. Cream cheese. Oh, that's definitely not going to fit all on that. <laughs> hey, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm oh. joking. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to beat him up. No, I still think it'll... Okay. Hey, you, uh, how are you going to scrape that? You done? Yeah, done uh, in your face. I appreciate all that. All right. Okay, we've got to beat this till smooth. <laughs> this him watching my cooking. I started to say, this guy's had your cooking before. Not before, but just today he's stressing. Mm. I'm a good cook. You are a good cook. He talk like that, you ain't gonna get no more cooking. Uh oh. And you don't have to worry about the uh, beaters being clean. Yeah. It's all going in the same pot. Alright. Mix and mix and till it's smooth, it says. So. Just those two ingredients? Yeah. Interesting. That sound is rough. Is it? Two. 
That's a power saw there. You about didn't make that. I was doing one cooking video. I was in here by myself, and I tried to throw it, and it totally missed. You could hear it like hit the floor. Oh, that's hilarious. It's funny. Three Which, eggs, teaspoon of vanilla. You go, well, I'm not going to eat these, so. What? You will eat them, and you will enjoy them. I might eat one. Maybe part of one. I don't know. I'm just not a big, big pumpkin person. Teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, okay. I was like, where's all this ingredients go? All right, let me... I gotta melt this stick of butter, too. So oh, we'll really? be back. Okay. I'm gonna turn it off. Are you back? We're back. All right, we got the butter melted. Mm -hmm. So now, add that. Mm -hmm. I never said this was a healthy recipe. This is just a This recipe. may be the most unhealthy recipe we've ever done. And that's saying a lot. Yeah. Now you got to mix this till smooth. Well, that's going to be... Well, I guess the sugar goes in this, right? Yeah. So this would be something uh, would be great to make for like Thanksgiving or a Halloween party. A huge party. Yeah, somewhere that you're going to, because I could imagine this is going to be rich and like two people ain't going to be able to eat all this. No. You know what this reminds me of for like how rich it seems? Is that, uh, you know that cranberry bar, chest oh. bar thing in there? Yeah, that was also a Paul Dean recipe. And it was so rich. All right, so now we have mixed, or, ah, I don't know how to do that. Beat the cream cheese, the pumpkin, until smooth. We added the three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a stick of melted butter, mm -hmm. and beat together. We did that. Now we got to add cinnamon and nutmeg, a mm -hmm. teaspoon of each. Okay. Very precise measurements. I don't know if this has ever even been open. Yeah, I guess it has. Huh. Why what do we you use all that nutmeg for? Pecan pie? No. What did we use nutmeg it. for? Probably a bread, I would ah, imagine. Ah, that's it. Where I had that vanilla, a lot of it stuck in here. I was trying to get it out of this. Yeah. Yum, yum, you yum, just yum. used your fingers since you just washed it. Yeah, I just didn't want it to smell like nutmeg. Okay, now we got to do the two cups of powdered sugar. Okay. You know what's funny when you watch these people on TV make these recipes? They make it look so simple. <laughs> mm-hmm. This one is not a very simple recipe. So it said 16 ounces, which is going to be two cups. Is that uh, Columbia's finest powdered sugar? Yeah. Probably recommend mixing in a cup at a time so yeah. I don't look like a snowman up here. It was going to be tough. Somebody might have set you up for failure. Well, all those people in the comments, they were probably right saying. A bigger He's bowl. wrong. And he needs a bigger bowl. Well, anyway, I think it's gonna work. This bowl is gonna say, "This is the most I've ever had." Yeah. Okay. Lord of mercy. There's a bunch clumped on the outside too. If you. I don't want it. Well, so I'm going to predict to the people at home, the most you will be able to eat of this <laughs> is a one inch by two inch piece. So this is all of our ingredients. Gosh, that's amazing. Now in the comments of the recipe that, you know, this comes from, everybody knows who it is. Everybody said it was better than pumpkin pie. That's a pretty bold statement. 
I know she serves this at her uh, restaurant in Pigeon Forge in the fall. Uh-huh. You'll like one up on the side. I like to scrape it. Yeah. And this is me thinking, oh, well, I'd rather just, I hate to pay that much just to go eat a pumpkin ooey gooey bar. Which we've had the restaurant. The restaurant's delicious. Yeah, the restaurant's amazing. But I didn't want to do all that just for the. Now, how much uh, would you say the cost is on this? Is it fairly ten bucks, or is it like twenty bucks? Well, I'd say. I guess the cream cheese is expensive. Yeah, it's probably like two fifty. And powdered and sugar, two or three dollars. Probably a couple dollars. Yeah. Because I bought the big bag. They have smaller bags. So you'd probably be in. Four eggs. Two sticks of butter. Two butter. sticks of butter is pricey. Yeah. I don't know, $20 maybe for this, would you say? Probably, yeah. Now, I'm seeing what I probably should have done was put my powdered sugar through a sifter because it's going to be clumpy. Oh. So, going back, if you're doing this for the holidays and want it to be pretty. Yeah. I would put that power sticker through a sifter. And, and we probably knew that because I bought a sifter uh, sometime in the past six months. Why did we buy that sifter? Uh, for my biscuit. For biscuit. Yeah, this is not going to turn out super... I never would have thought about that. I didn't either until I started mixing. I said, oh crap. It's still going to taste delicious. Yeah. Though. But, you know, for holidays, no one, for you all, you can see the powdered sugar clumpy. Yeah. I, don't, I totally didn't even think about it or I'd have mentioned it. I'll take blame for that one, boss. This is a lot of mixture. That is a lot of mixture. It smells good. Do you think it smells good? Yeah, it's, I can smell the pumpkin out. Oh, there man. for a while, I can smell the nutmeg. That nutmeg was strong, but it, this smells like a delicious pumpkin pie. So, this kills me the lumps. Maybe oh, they'll good. settle a little bit. They won't. They won't. But, you get what you get. But, we pre-warned everybody at home to make yeah. sure they sift the powdered sugar. And like I said, this is made it because I wanted to eat one and for a video. And for y'all to have come holidays. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is going to go into the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. So we're going to put it in. Um, and I do know she says that you want to make sure, you know, it stays jiggly at the end. You don't want to cook this until it's firm. Okay. And that's what keeps it a ooey gooey. Yeah. I tell you what, this little sucker's heavy. Alright, man. <laughs> yeah, that's very heavy. Oh. All right, we'll set it for 40 and then come back and check on it. You said 40? Yeah. Boom. We'll be back. Bye-bye. All right, these ended up going for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's get these out. Ooh. What's your elbow? Huh? And see, they're still shaking a little bit. You see a little jiggle. So. I'm not going to cut them now. I'm going to let these cool. She said you want a little bit of jiggle. So, so probably just let them cool for 30 minutes Yeah, it'll probably take a while. So I'm not going to cut them, unfortunately, to show them to you. But this is your finished result. Uh, mine went for 45 minutes. She said 40 to 50 minutes. Okay. So hope you all like this recipe. And make sure to subscribe if mm -hmm. you haven't. And sign up for the notifications so you'll know when we get new videos out. Because we have been putting a lot of videos out right now of Halloween lights, fall leaves, and cooking. So, hope you enjoy our videos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.